let's understand that there's different types of LED strips. Uh, this one is from Costco and uh, this is the kind that needs data and if you can if this will focus maybe not um, anyway this has pins on it that say things like 12 volts DN that means data in W in this case for white and then ground so this is one that actually needs some data sent to it uh, and you can tell part of that is because it's got this chip in it uh, so that's a tip off here's another one from uh, at a fruit or uh, you know one of those places that tries to be helpful but is overly expensive uh, this one has the chip in the actual LED um, and you can tell again uh, the pins here are labeled ground D and with an arrow and then plus 5 volts uh, D with an arrow means that uh, the data has to start from one end of the chain for it to sequentially program uh, all the LEDs in the chain. So in this case, the arrow is pointing this way, uh, which means you got to put the data starting in over here, and then it updates one after another. Um, then there's another kind of RGB strip. This is, I think, uh, an Amazon one, and this is just a pure RGB. There's no data. So in this case, the pins are um, 12 volts, G for green, R for red, B for blue. And uh, that's just 12 volts between any of those three pins and you get that color. And then if you did 12 volts between the green and the red, you'd get, you know, different combinations of color. So the kind of controllers we're talking about are for this LED strip, um, the kind that is purely RGB and no data. I bought two different of these RGB LED controllers from uh, Amazon. One is uh, this side. Uh, you can see it's this, and I'll I'll link it in the description uh, which one this actually is. Um, we'll call this one A. Uh, the manual is pretty nice. It's got this uh, you know broken English thing going on, and it's got this barcode for downloading the app and whatnot. And then there's this one, which Again, very similar manual, another barcode, uh, similar um, take on English on that one. Uh, this has the little pin connector it came with for you to be able to shove that in there, uh, which is neat. If your LED strip already has that, like one of the ones um, I'll show you, then great. It's labeled, so 12 volts is at the bottom, and then you got GRB uh, going up from there. Uh, this one is I think a little better built. Um, it's got some better filtering here. Uh, it's got a big regulator. Uh, look at these, whatever these switching transistors are of some sort for uh, the red, green, blue, white rails. Um, it also does another power rail. I'm not sure what the difference between WW and CW are, but that's uh, two different versions of white, I'm guessing. Um, or if you are clever, you could probably make that control something else. Um, this one's got some LED feedback on it. It's got this little reset button, uh, which is clever that when it fits through the case, you know, the button lines up with that. And they were even nice enough to include some screws and a push pin for that reset button. So that's really special. Um, and then this door would go on here like this. And then I'm assuming this door, you could cover your, you could notch that out maybe, and then cover that or maybe go through the back somehow. Not sure. Um, oh, I guess when you fit the door on, even when you fit the door on, there's a gap. So that's how that works. Okay. Um, first impressions. Um, you know, this one also has the uh, IR thingy on it. There's your power and there's your IR thingy. It comes with this remote. So if you don't want to control via Wi-Fi or you don't trust somebody on your network, you can give them the remote uh, and they can go to town that way. Uh, it's got your standard crappy patterns. It's got flash, strobe, fade, which... Okay, that's sort of useful. It, it gently fades between all the color wheel. Uh, and then smooth, which ironically is not smooth. It's just basically turn on each color in order, uh, kind of all subtle-like. 